Hey everyone, it's I Everyday Carry, your source for tips, tricks, and insights on everyday carrying. Alright, so I want to make a quick video for you today and I want to share with you the experience I had today because I think it was pretty unique. Alright, uh, first off I want to say that uh, I am driving right now but I've got my phone in a cradle so I'm not holding it, my hands are free, and I'm able to drive safely. just want to put that disclaimer out there because I know some people are going to be wondering that when I watch this video. Okay, so today's video is about, uh, you know, making sure you pick the right pistol and holster for your everyday carry pistol. So some people might not think about all the things that go into picking the right pistol and holster, so I want to touch on a few important uh, factors you want to take into consideration when you're choosing. Uh, first and foremost, depending on where you are in the nation, if you are uh, able to carry, some states and some, some regions require you to be concealed when you carry and uh, others are open. So you first want to determine whether you're in an area where you can be open carry or where you have to conceal carry. And that's going to be, you know, a major factor in the type of holster you pick. Uh, the next two are, are also really important. You want to make sure that the pistol and holster you pick is both comfortable and practical, all right? So if your pistol is uncomfortable to carry and the holster is uncomfortable and it's digging in your side or digging in your back or it's heavy and you know, it's just not a good experience to carry it, you're not going to uh, want to carry it as often and you might get in the habit of leaving it behind or taking it off and that's a bad habit to get into because if you forget it or you leave it at home one day and then, you know that's the day that you actually need it you don't have it, then it didn't do you any good. Uh, also, you want to make sure that pistol and that, you know, more importantly, the holster is practical because, you know, you might have a holster that you may be able to carry in a position that's more comfortable, but if it's not practical in the fact that you can't easily or readily uh, you know, access your, your firearm when you need to, it doesn't do you any good. So it was, it was kind of pointless to carry that pistol and holster on you. All right, so those are the, the two most important factors you want to think about after you've decided or after you've determined whether you're in an open or concealed carry area. All right, so uh, today I had to do some traveling. Right? You know, I got up early and I had to go to New York for some uh, some business I had to take care of up there. And from where I lived, that was about a three and a half hour to four hour drive. So I was on the road for a little bit this morning. Uh, when I got to my point, my appointment, you know, uh, for the longest period that I was uh, seated, it was about three hours straight that I was seated and I was uh, uh, taking care of some things up there. And you know, now I'm back on the road and I'm about an hour and a half into the ride back home. So, you know, total today I've been uh, sitting for, you know, an excess of seven and a half hours, almost eight hours today. And why is that unique? Uh, it's unique because I've had my pistol on me the entire time. You know, I've had a pistol in my holster on me the entire time. I haven't had to shift or adjust or do anything with it. I was able to you know, ride comfortably up this morning and I'm riding comfortably comfortably back and I was in my appointment I was sitting in a regular you know desk chair at a table and I was able to you know take care of everything I had to take care of uh, comfortably and you know discuss and interact with other people comfortably and I didn't have to adjust I didn't have to fidget or shift or anything like that and uh, I'm in an area where when you are able to carry you have to be concealed so no one around me was uh, aware that I was carrying because of the type of pistol and the type of holster that I chose. And that, that's because I was very mindful of the pistol and holster that I was going to pick due to the fact of knowing my body type and knowing the activities that I know I'm going to have to do today. Right? So, you know, it's not to say that you can only have one pistol, not to say you can only have one holster because I have several of both, but you got to be uh, mindful of the ones that you pick and carry with you depending on where you're going what you're doing and what you're wearing right so today I've got my alien gear uh, cloak tuck 3.0 holster right and uh, I've got it in the waistband the way it was designed and I'm left-handed so I carry it in the back around the 8 o'clock position so you might see that a lot of people who are left-handed and carry in the holster they'll carry it in that position it's a very comfortable position it's, it's easily uh, conceal is it's you know it's close to the, the small of your back but not all the way back there and that's not to say that's the only way you can carry it you know there's different ways you can carry that even this even this particular holster you can carry it off to the side you can carry it appendix there's different ways you can do it right but you know it's it's important to think about uh, the right way to carry for you and for your activities and for you know your attire for that day and it's uh, important to you know think about 
the right pistol for all those things also. So, you know, I've got my Alien Gear holster and uh, the pistol I'm carrying today is my Springfield Subcompact Mod 2. It's a 9mm. And uh, that's easily uh, concealed for me. And it's a, it's a subcompact, like I said, so it, it's small. And it's a 9mm, so it's also it's a lighter pistol. So, you know, when you're thinking about different types of pistols, uh, you, you're going you're gonna to think about size, right? That's going to be, you know, something that people will think about, you know, uh, almost instantaneously. All right, well, I'm going to think about, you know, the size of the pistol I'm going to carry because, you know, uh, subcompacts can be easier to conceal and carry than a full size. But, you know, that's going to vary depending on, you know, you as a person because everybody's got varying body type sizes and shapes. So what might be easy or difficult for me to conceal and carry will be easy or difficult for you to conceal and carry because we're all different. So you, you got to be uh, mindful of your body type and your size. Uh, another thing that people don't always readily think about is the weight, right? So, you know, at, if you're not carrying for an extended period of time, you might not think that weight is that big of a factor. But for me, you know, you know, uh, carrying all day like I do, I, I like to carry all day. Uh, weight is a, is a very important factor because there's going to be a difference in carrying a, a 45 than carrying a 9mm. It's going to be a little bit heavier and after a couple of hours of carrying that pistol on your hip or wherever you carry it, that weight might get to you. And if you're doing it, you know, uh, every day on a continual basis, you know, you're going to start to, to feel that weight. So weight is a very important thing to keep in mind. Now, uh, I have different pistols, different holsters like I discussed before. And I interchange them sometimes, and it's very important to remember that you know the reason I'm able to interchange my pistols is because I practice, I practice, practice, practice on all my pistols. And check out one of my other videos about the importance of practice and the importance of training because it's very important. So, because I practice and I train on all my pistols and I'm very proficient in all of them, I'm able to interchange them uh, whenever I, whenever I want. So I was uh, previously carrying my Sig 1911 subcompact. And I just switched it out, and now I'm carrying my Springfield XD my two subcompact, and the the Springfield is a lighter pistol by itself. Uh, Sigs and 1911s are just a, a, a heavier heavier gun, uh, different material, so it's going to be heavier. Uh, additionally, it's, a, it's a, a lower caliber, right? So my Springfield is a nine millimeter, whereas the 1911 Sig that's a 45. So those rounds. Well, it might not seem like it's that much of a difference. Those rounds are, are a lot heavier, and over time, you know that that difference in weight will add up, and you'll you'll tend to to feel that and notice that difference. So, for me, once I switched to the the lighter gun, and not for any particular reason, I just I just felt like a change. Once I switched to it, the first couple of days, it almost felt like I wasn't even carrying because the difference in weight was that significant. Okay, so these are all things you gotta keep in mind. You wanna think about the weight. You know the the size, and uh, as it is in relation to your body type, your size, and your shape. You know those things are very important to, to keep in mind. All right? You want to think about the type of pistol you carry, uh, whether it's going to be a you know a 45, whether it's going to be a semi-automatic or a revolver, because those are all going to to play into whether you're going to be able to uh, comfortably and practically carry that pistol. And uh, that holster, right? So, size, weight, type, caliber, all things you need to keep in mind, right? Uh, additionally, you want to keep in mind, you know, position, right? So, while you've got different uh, sizes and shapes of pistol and different types of holsters, uh, they're gonna, there's you know, gonna be some that are gonna go in the waistband, out of the waistband, you know, all those different types. There's also different positions you can, you know, carry those uh, each individual pistol and holster, right? So I touched on that a little bit, you know, with my uh, in the waistband alien gear. Like I said, I carry mine at eight o'clock, but you know, you can also carry it in the appendix. You can carry it off to the side. There's you know different ways you can carry it. So all these different factors are important to keep in mind, and they're and they are crucial uh, bits of information you're going to need before you choose that pistol and that holster that you're going to carry, right? Because without being able to do it comfortably and safely and without being able to carry it practically, it's not going to be a very effective tool when you need it. Right? So there's more you can go into as far as pistols and uh, different types of carrying, different types of holsters and wear and position, all that. You know, 
lots of different types of holsters. There's even different types of apparel that have holsters built into it. And I'm going to make a video later on that's going to go more in depth into that. So stay tuned for that. And make sure you subscribe to, subscribe to the channel so that when that comes out, you get the alerts and you're able to see that and get that information because, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be a really good video. So today was just going to be a quick video, just touching a few things. I want to share my experience because, you know, I, I, I was thinking to myself, wow, you know, the amount of time I've spent sitting and driving was kind of uh, extreme and I've, I've been comfortable the whole time. I want to share that and put that out there. So if you like the video, if you found some value in it, go ahead and like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel to get more of my content and uh, share the video man. get it out there because I think it's very important for everybody who's going to be carrying or everybody who's thinking about carrying to get as much information on the topic and the subject as they can and for me it's a it's a very uh, I'm very passionate about the subject you know I, I talk about it all the time you know this is what I do for a living so I'm, I'm always gonna be talking about it and I love conversations so comment in the comment section if you got a comment for me if you liked it you didn't like it whatever you know feedback is very important so go ahead and tell me what you think you know like share and uh, subscribe to the channel you can also find me on instagram at i at i everyday carry i'm also on twitter and snapchat so go ahead and follow me on all those social medias and there's going to be a uh a, i'm going to type it all out in the comment section so that you can you can find me easier on uh, twitter instagram and all that so Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time on the next video.